All right, gonna be looking at how to build a lean-to shed. We're gonna be building a lean-to on both sides of this current shed here. They're gonna be 11 foot wide by 30 foot long. The first step I've already got completed is fastening a two by six board across the shed there, which is where my two by four rafters are gonna connect to. And now I'm currently working on setting the post that will be on the outside of my shed and will hold the brace bar. So to set my post, I have a tape measure that's ran from the outside of the shed to the inside of my post, marking at 11 foot, and then I have 10 foot between each post to have a big open bay. I'm using a post level to make sure that my posts are straight up and down, plumb on both sides, and it's the easiest way to do it hands-free. And once I get it secured in the position that I want, I pour concrete around the base of the post to make sure it's good and sturdy. While my posts are setting, I'm working on the two by six board that runs across my shed. Here on the back, it's a little tricky because I have a previous lean-to that's already there on the back that I'm having to compensate for. But I'm currently hanging these hurricane hangers or clips here on my two by six. My two by four rafters will fit down into these clips here and they will be supported and I will be able to fasten them to the two by six this way. And so I've got these spaced out 16 inches on center and I'm getting these fastened so it'll be very easy to drop my two by four. I skipped a couple steps here, but once I had the post set, I ran a two by four piece on the outside all the way down through there. And then I have the hurricane clips hangers fastened along my two by six. I came in and dropped my two by four rafters with a bird's mouth cut out all the way down through there, 16 inches on center. And then I'm coming back now and I'm fastening the one by four boards on top. Uh, this will eventually give me a 16 by 16 inch square uh, for all support of the 10, which is a little overkill, but I wanna make sure that it was fastened securely. With these one by fours, as I finished out here, uh, one thing to note is your one by fours more than likely, if you're building a larger lean-to, will not stretch all the way from one end to the other. Uh, so a note to kind of keep it a little more sturdy is you don't want your connections to be all on the same rafter. So as you can see here, they're kind of spaced out. I went ahead and ran every other row from this front end. So all three of the one by four rows that are up here currently, the connections are on the same rafter. When I run the rows in between these three, I will come from the other end, making sure that my one by fours, when I make a connection at the end, are on a different rafter. Uh, if you have all your connections on the same rafter, that tends to be a weak point in your roof. And so that's the best way to avoid it is by doing that here. So again, I'm running everything 16 inches on center, a little more than it has to be. Uh, anything between 16 inches and 24 inches is pretty common. Um, so I'll have my one by fours that are sloping down, excuse me, my two by fours for my rafters and these one by fours going across. My roof is about a two and 12 pitch, uh, which isn't extremely steep, which is fine for 10. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough head clearance at the very end here to be able to walk up under it, and that's what I needed. Once I have all of my rafters and my one before bracing pieces connected, I'm gonna come back with the 10. Uh, typically, you start from the back uh, and work your way to the front so that the lip doesn't show when you're looking at it from the front. But I wanted to be absolutely sure that the amount of overhang that I wanted at the front was exact. And so I'm kind of doing it somewhat backwards, but it's not that big of a deal as long as you make sure that you take your tin and lip it over uh, your next piece coming up. And that may be kind of hard to explain. I probably don't get close enough on the video for you to see that. So I basically take my time on this first piece, making sure I have it lined up and that it's square. I'm um, having to cut a notch out there for the rafter coming down from the actual uh, shed there. So I'm going to slide this tin up and I'm going to go ahead and get it fastened down. Uh, I put my uh, screws and the ridges uh, go ahead and put them on every single ridge every single one by four that I come to get it fastened down but I'll leave the very last ridge open so that I can slide my next piece of tin under it so that you can't see the lip from this side uh, so once you kind of get the the tin going as long as you've taken your time with all your framing and made sure it's square your tin is really not that difficult 
where it gets difficult is when your uh, building is not square and you're having to adjust your tin for any mistakes that you made previously. And so I'm going to get this first one uh, really lined up, taking my time on it. And then after this one piece is fastened down, it goes pretty fast from here on out. So like I said, it doesn't take long once those first couple pieces are down. So you can see I've got the tin ran all the way here to the very end, and I'm finishing up these couple pieces. Um, you know, unfortunately I was working with a building that was already here and that wasn't perfectly square, so uh, I was kind of working with what I had, but I, I, I made everything as square as I could, and then I'll come back at the very end with a circular saw and cut a straight edge along my tin there, um, and you won't be able to see it with the naked eye once it's completely finished. This last piece I kind of overlapped just a little bit so that my overhang wasn't too much on the end, or you can just cut it with a circular saw a quick before picture and what it looked like before I got started on the lean-to. So as you can see I have dual lean-to's on both sides of the shed now. Both sides were built the same way, same width, length, and height. That wraps up a quick and easy way to build a lean-to onto your shed.